So the calculations we've done so far in the course have performed calculations assuming a seven day week. Oftentimes you want to do calculations based on a working week, so Monday to Friday or Monday to Saturday, Saturday depending on uh, your situation. So how do we actually achieve this? Well, we can use a function called the workday function. We've got two scenarios. Uh, first of all, we want to assume that we're working a five day week and then we're going to assume a six day week. Our start date is 25th of September 2016 and we're going to work 100 working days, not 100 calendar days, 100 working days. So how do I do this? I'm going to use the workday function. So equals W O. There we are. There's our workday function. I can press tab to complete the function name and give me an open bracket. And you can see that the workday function has three arguments. Start date, which is the start date of my work comma days the number of working days which i've put in there 100 and then optionally holidays i can see it's an optional argument because it's in square brackets so we'll use it without holidays initially close the bracket press enter so if i'm working a five-day week i would finish the task on the 10th of february 2017 just for comparison if i worked a seven-day week so that would be b5 plus 100 I'd work I'd finish on the 3rd of January 2017 so this is a later date now what if I also want to exclude these holiday dates that would occur during this period of work so what you can do is on your spreadsheet you can kind of create a list of dates you only need the dates in reality, but you know, to make things a bit clearer for any other users, I have created a little table with some labels for the dates. But for the formula, you only need these two values here. Now you may be wondering why I think Christmas Day is on the 26th of December and why I think New Year's Day is on the 2nd of January. It's just this year, Christmas and New Year Day fall on a Sunday. So you've got kind of substitute bank holiday dates. Um, so we're going to include these or exclude these two dates within our calculation. So to do that, I'm just going to go back into edit mode on the cell by double clicking on it. And I'm going to put a comma after the last argument, which takes me onto my holidays argument. And all I need to do is just select all the cells that contain my holiday dates. I press enter and there we are, I'm now finishing on the 14th of the second. It's taken me on to the next week. Okay, so that's fine if you are working a five day week. What happens if you're not? Maybe it's a six day week or maybe your, uh, your days off are not Saturday and Sunday. Maybe they're Monday and Tuesday. How do we get around that? Well, let's put today's date in here, put 100 days in here. And we can still use the workday function, but a different variant on it. So here I have workday, which is what we used up here, but I've also got workday.international. So let's go down to that and tab. And you can see the workday international has an additional argument, a weekend argument, which is what we're going to utilize to do this calculation. So the start date is the same, it's B6, comma. Uh, day working days is a hundred comma uh, but now I'm onto the weekend argument I now get a, a list of different non-working day patterns so one is the same as work day that assumes you're not working on Saturday and Sunday but two assumes that you're not working on Sunday and Monday three would assume you're not working Monday and Tuesday I actually want 11, which says I'm not working on Sunday. So I'm gonna double click on that and then close my bracket, press enter. And I just need to change that to a date format. Sometimes when you do these calculations, you get the answer, the correct answer, but in the wrong format. That is the serial number behind the date I want. So I'm gonna go up to my uh, format picker and I'm going to go to a short date there we are so if I work Saturdays you can see that obviously I finish 
a little bit quicker than if I take both Saturday and Sunday off. So if you are doing uh, calculations based on a working week, whatever pattern of working week that is, and you need to find out what your finish date will be when you're going to complete a task, then the workday function is what you will need to use.